Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just, I don't even know how to start with today's video. I was up, I was feeling better. I am still a little congested, but I was feeling better. Um, my hubby had texted me that he left his wallet at home. I had woken up early enough that I could get him his wallet, get ready for work all that good stuff. I was feeling good. I was going to stop by uh, Dunkin' Donuts, get me a coffee. I was even going to do a little vlogging and try something new. Got rear-ended. Sure enough did. I got rear-ended. And I don't know what is going on with like the light, but all I have on is the ring light and like my little lamp here, which just throws a little extra light on me from this direction. But I've been noticing the lights. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I'll try to figure that part out. So I drove my poor car back home. I will put pictures up on my Facebook if you guys want to see the damage. Um, and what happened was um, I was on um, a two-lane, four-lane highway, two going this way, two going this way with a, a grass median, you know, in the middle. And I was in the fast lane. A Dodge had been behind me almost the whole way. And we got almost to a red light. And there was two cars in front of me. And a little white car from the slow lane cut over. I put on my brakes to keep from hitting that little white car. And the guy behind me didn't stop fast enough. And he did try to swerve. And he got my driver's side um, back corner panel pretty hard. And, um... Airbags did not deploy, but the seat belt got me pretty good. I still feel a little out of breath and a little trouble kind of catching my breath. Um, and I'm a little sore all over. My back hurts. I'm a little sore. But other than that, I am okay. I'm very upset about my car because that was my mom's car. It was my aunt's car. So it's more sentimental than, you know, just... um. If it had been my other car, if it had been my tracker, my other car, I'd have been like, yeah, I'm going to get me a new car out of this. No, this one hurt. This one hurt my heart seeing the damage done to that car because, uh, you know, it's more sentimental um, than anything. But she was able to drive home. She drove actually very good considering um, the damage done to her back end. Um, and I got home and there was a box. So, hey. Um, I've got a little bit of time. Let's unbox this baby. And it is from Claire Sonic. Is that right? <gasps> nope. That's right. So, from Claire Sonic. I did order this from QVC. Um, and like an idiot, Shannon forgot to go through Ebates to do it. <laughs> I always forget to do that. I'm like, after the fact, man, I should have went through my Ebates. <laughs> so... Let's open this up. I still am a little congested, as you can hear. I need to get this packing slip out of here just in case. Let me get that out first. So there's the packing slip. And now I can hopefully maybe cut through some plastic. Maybe not. Maybe Shannon just don't have it together after being hit. After being rear-ended. You do not think, well, if you've been hit before, you know what I'm talking about. The impact and where that seat belt locks down on you, it hurts. And if you've ever had an airbag come out, that stuff burns. Um, it burns. Whatever's in there, it burns. <laughs> All right, so here's what the inside of the box looks like. Just a little bit of paper to keep it from bouncing around. And... So here is the box. I did get purple. They only have like, I think, pink and purple left. This was on a deal. It was, you get the um, Clarisonic Mia 2, and I believe you got five brush heads, which is why it was a good deal. Um, yeah, two Radiance brush heads, two Deep Pour brush heads, and one Sensitive brush head, and then the, um, the Charger. So let me see if I can figure out how to get into this baby. Um, more tape, because I don't want to tear my box up. 
<sighs> yeah, it's just been a weird, 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 weird day. Everybody was okay. Um, from what I could tell, nobody was hurt. Just the vehicles, you know. So here's what she looks like inside. I'm super excited. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I don't know if it has a charge on it. Oh, it does. How do you turn it off? <laughs> um, to reset brush head indicator, press the power button for three seconds. All right, so it has a little vented cover. That's super soft on the brick. I cannot wa wait to wash my face. I'm almost like willing to go wash my face right now, but I'm not because my makeup is really pretty today. <laughs> Oh, wow, that is so soft. How do you know which ones are which? I, I guess they're color-coded by the little the little um, strip in there. Oh, my gosh. But, yes, I'm super excited to add this to my um, daily routine because I'm thinking this is definitely going to help the um, my pores. And that's really the only place that I have. Can I see it right there? It's like um, deep pores. So we got another one of those brush heads, a blue brush head, and another blue and a black. So I guess the black is the sensitive, and the blue is probably the um, the pores, the one for the pores. And each one does have a covered cap. That's really soft too. So I wonder how, which one's which? I want to know which one's which. <laughs> it's a new toy. It's a girl toy. You know how guys have their toys? I want to know. Quick starts. Okay, that just tells you how to wash your face. <laughs> Let's see. So here's the little booklet. I want to know what, what brush head is what. If it tells me. How do you know? I guess I can go online and look at look them up. Charging, important cautions and warnings. Um, and then it goes into Spanish. So I don't know. But I'm thinking the one that's on here is the regular, and then the blue will be the poor, and then the black, since it's the only one is the um the one for sensitive skin. That is so awesome. Oh, I cannot wait to try that tonight, guys. And I will definitely update you on how that works. But yeah, if you um, have been wanting a Clarisonic, um, I think they had it on Easy Pay. And, but I just went ahead and paid the whole thing. I believe it came to, it was 116 plus the tax and the shipping. And I should have got it when they had no shipping because like just the week before this, I, I looked at it and there was no shipping. I should have got it then. <laughs> but yeah, so there is the, um, the Clarisonic Mid 2. So, um, if you've always wanted one, check out, um, QVC if you want it on like a payment plan or if you have, um, I know they're what in Ulta and Sephora, I think now. And if you have one of their credit cards, you can get it on a payment plan. But um, right now it's like 116 for the, um, the device and all those brush heads. So yeah, I thought that was a really good deal. So that is it for this video. If you've used this and seen improvement in your skin, Please leave me comments down below and let me know what kind of cleanser you were using with it because I don't really know yet which cleanser I'm going to use. Um, right now I have two cleansers in my, um, actually three, I have three cleansers in my shower but one I'm not using. One is the Olay which I didn't like but it's still in the shower in case I ever want to use it. The, um, the little scrub that I always use and then there's the e.l.f. daily cleanser that's in there I can use. So I was thinking of using the e.l.f because the other one has little the little micro cleansing um, exfoliators in it and I don't think you need to use that with this I'm not sure but let me know what kind of cleanser you're using and what kind of results you had because I'm super excited to try it all right guys as always thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one